right, we got a 2017 Dodge truck, Hemi. We are installing an amplifier using the uh, factory radio. And here's the box. So starting now running a 4 gauge just in case he's going to upgrade the amp. The amp is a kicker, the speakers also the speakers, uh, the kickers. Uh, so back over here, poke a hole using a, like a flat head or anything a little bit sharp. Just push it through right there. The power wire right there where the rubber boot is at. And then my son up front grabbing the wire. So now I'm gonna run the uh, the high low converter, the line out converter, around here, not fr not here, but up here, and then I'm gonna run a remote. Oh, uh, actually, you know, don't need a remote wire because I'm gonna use a kicker. It's called Kisslock Two. Okay, I don't want to take the whole radio dash off to go to the speaker wire. So what I'm gonna do. I'm coming over here, I'm gonna pry this out. Looking for gray violet and gray yellow. Whoops. It should be right there, you can see it. Gray violet and gray yellow, you see that? Oh, I can't see it myself. Right there. I'm gonna pull that wire out, you'll see it. All right, I had to take a knife and then uh, cut off the black tape a little bit to get to the gray violet and gray yellow. So I'm gonna grab that in uh, and taped it. And uh, actually I'm gonna use a T-tap, make it easy for me. All right, what I did, I put the gray uh, violet to the positive of the speaker wire. And then the uh, gray and yellow is a negative. I'm gonna run with the power wire coming up here and then go underneath here, lift this part up a little bit and run the wire, it's gonna go rare. I'm uh, running a small amp, so it's not gonna be that bad. I'm gonna make a ground right here, right here. This spot right there. So he's gonna lift that, pop it out. Then he Good enough right there, and then just self tap it. Here's the ground. I'm using two self tapper screw right there, the half inch, uh, not half inch, uh, yeah, half inch self tapper screw right there. I ran the wire to the back, the speaker wire to the back, ran two wire so we can run to the speakers over there, and then we're gonna put this. It's lock two, which is kicker. This is one of my favorite one. And a lot of people ask me why did I bridge these two together like that. The reason I do that, you don't have to do from the left and the right. That's just spending more time trying to do that. So what I did, I put the gray black and white and black together. This is a negative side. Like so, and then the gray and the white together because it's, it's a positive side. And remember, we are not trying to play as a round sound. This is a subwoofer. We're not trying to have as a round sound. Most people ask me, why do I do that? Does it, does it change any sound? No, it doesn't change anything. I tried it before and it seemed to be working really well. I've been doing this for 20 years. Uh, well, this part right here that just came out not that long ago, so, but it, Probably about what, uh, 15 years. So this is a speaker that I ran from the uh, the front. I'm gonna cut this part right here out. Wanna make sure I have enough clearing right there. I'm gonna end up pulling this wire from that side right there so the wire is not all over the place. Cutting the red. Red is a positive, so I'm gonna red go to the white and black. No, white and gray, I'm sorry, white and gray. Crimson.
like that and then the black part is to white black gray black that's a good thing about this uh, line out converter made by kickers the pack is pretty good too. Now this blue wire right there, it's gonna go to a remote right here. And then the black go to the ground. Make sure it's not. Like so. And then I'm gonna run an RCA jack from here, like a three footer one, or actually I'm gonna push it in first right here and I'll leave it like that so and I could adjust it. I'm gonna zip tie this right there. I know there's a wire ran over that side over there, but there's no wire underneath here. We are good right there, so we might make sure ain't nothing run because sometimes they can run the wire right there. I'm going to put the blue to the red. It doesn't matter. They're all going to sound the same. You can't tell. So, and then go to input right here. Some customers say, why why you have blue on the white? But it doesn't really matter. But you want to make it look right so the customer don't question you like, hey, you, he know what he doing? Uh, yeah. This truck is so tall, it's hard for me to get I'm, I'm not even a big guy and I'm a sh small guy and it's hard for me to move around because the seat actually I can get the seat up a bit <laughs> oh. I'm gonna screw this part screw right there I'm not gonna screw to the metal I'm just screwing to the so it doesn't move Need a longer uh, bit, but didn't have. I, I have it, but it's not here. Somewhere over there. See, it's not gonna move. And I wanna zip tie this like so, right here. that cut it you cut it later put a screw right here like that and tighten it a little bit and then cut it that's it right there and then I'm gonna just pull the wire in so it look nice and that, that's it for our install. While my son is running the power wire, plugging the uh, fuse holder, I'm gonna show you right here the finished work. Right there, the wire right there. Zip tie a little bit, but I can't make it look like that. It looks pretty good right there. And I need, to, I forgot to pull that speaker wire in there in a little bit I'll do that if you look at from the driver side right there you can just grab that wire right there and push it in and hide it and then you can zip tie it see how it is right there you can after everything's in you can zip tie right there there zip tied usually use a wire loom right there uh, a half inch wire loom is good or th uh, for 3 8 what, whatever your size of your uh, wire is uh, and that two right there and a fuse holder right there and two there 
for those of you who doesn't have the uh, remote wire or doesn't have the uh, amp turn on or uh, remote turn on you're gonna need to hook it up to 96 right here uh, do you have a wiring? 96 and you want the wire side to uh, to the uh, if you're looking on the front starting from the front you want to look in the back okay you want to put on the back side which is this side right here not not the front so you want to wire it up right this side right here. on the radio make sure you don't forget clicking on audio right there and move it down to uh, uh, speed adjust volume you need to shut that off okay see how it go up to the right and go up you want it off if you don't do that you're gonna have issues drive when you drive it's gonna make noise so just to let you know that part